and welcome back everyone to the next episode on advanced ABAP training for rappers. Those who are attending my RESTful application programming training, this video series is specially designed for you ABAP developers. You are working as a RAP developer and yet you are not comfortable with new ABAP syntax. This is a free video series for you to learn and study the advanced ABAP syntax. By far in this series, we have seen the concept of inline data declaration, value expression, corresponding expression, conditions and conversions. In our today's session, we are going to learn about loop with a group by. Yes, just like you do group by in select query, in a very similar manner, now you can do group by at an internal table data. So take a look at what a group by actually is capable of. So let me take a simple example. Suppose I am planning a travel and during my travel, I will have multiple bookings. For example, I want to plan a travel from New Delhi to let's say Germany. Then during this trip from New Delhi to Berlin, I will have multiple stops. So first I take a flight from Delhi to Mumbai. From Mumbai, I'll go to Frankfurt and then ultimately I will reach Berlin, right? So this is my uh, number of bookings during one travel. So I have a travel request, let's say 0001. And in this, I have multiple bookings. So I have my first booking, which is this. Second booking, 20. Third booking, 30. So now, if I look at my data in the database, I will have a travel request. And for each travel request, we have multiple booking IDs. I do have this database table also in my sample data. So I have a travel ID and I have a booking ID. So I will just have, let's say, uh, the number over here, which will contain the value, which is, let's say, travel ID 1. And the booking number is 10. Travel ID 1, booking number 20. Travel ID 1 again, booking number 30. Similarly, travel ID 2 and 3, 10, 20, 10. So now, if I would like to first print only the unique number of booking numbers or the travel IDs, so I will get 1, 2, and 3. So these are the, the, the group of data. You can see this is my one group, this is my second group, and this is my third group. So I have three groups. Under each group, then we want to have our remaining data like 10, 20, 30 in the first group, 10 and 20 in the second group, and 10 and 20 in the, or just 10 in the third group. So I've got three groups. So if you have this data in an internal table, how would you do the grouping? And how would you then allow us to loop the uh, each of the group? So each group will be like, let's say set one, set two, and set three. If I want to then further loop on these sets individually, how can I do that? That's where we can utilize the group by. What group by does at a loop statement in ABAP now, it has ability to create groups of unique value based on the key you define. In our case, the key will be travel ID. So let us go to the system and see this example in the live system now. I'm going to switch over back to the system and here is where we are creating these examples. You can also check the description of this video to download this complete source code. So you can practice the same in your company system as well. So let me declare one more function and we will put here the next statement which is group loop with grouping. And now we will just go ahead and add the function. We will of course call this function loop with grouping. That's our function. And we of course go ahead and add the implementation as well. So we will add the method in the implementation. So first of all, what I want to show is reading some travel IDs and booking ID data. So what I will do, I will declare a type of bookings 
my booking database table and I can say slash demo booking table. The good news is this table is also present in your company system. Yes, all of your company systems also you have this standard table for booking data. Now I will just read maybe top 20 records from the booking table into my internal table. You can already notice that we are actually using inline data declaration, which I taught you in the first episode. Kindly check the description of this video if you don't understand what is inline data declaration. We already recorded a video on the same. Now we can just print the data to the user for now. So we can say my bookings. And we can just write all the data. Travel ID. We have to do inline declaration here as well for the work area. I will put the booking ID. And I will also put here the booking fees. So we will put our work area and let's put here the flight price, which is paid. Okay, so now if I run this, simple data fetch, you can see it's just fetching you the travel ID with its respective booking ID, travel ID, booking ID, travel ID, booking ID. So you see this travel ID is repeating. For example, in your company, you have sales order and corresponding to the sales order, you have the, the sales order items, right? So you're getting the order number and then you're getting the item number. Now, our goal is to create a group. I don't want to, I don't want to create a group of this data, like all the ones together, all the twos together, all the threes together, and I want to process each group one by one. So first of all, you can also utilize this approach to just fetch the unique booking number. So it's very easy. You just have to say loop at this group by. That's it. And then you specify which property, which field. So I say my travel ID. So now what the computer does here, in this case, the ABAP engine is going to start this loop only for every unique travel ID. Yes, this is fairly simple. You can also achieve this uh, with the with the control break statements in ABAP, but the control break statements kind of does the loop as many records are there. But in this case now, system is only going to loop as many times as many unique travel IDs are there in your data set. So I can activate this. And the good news is you don't have to also sort the data. So if I run this now, you can see we should be able to get one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, which is each travel ID one time with the first record, which is unique for the booking. So first of its bookings are coming. Now, the next part of the requirement is Anubhav. What about, yes, I understood that this is a group. It has created now, but within the group, if I want to loop over, all the child of the group, yes. How do we can do that? So that is also possible. So maybe I will right now just print my unique group identifier. So I can say for my travel request, this is my unique travel request number. Yes, I will just put that here. And then under the travel request ID, uh, we will have the corresponding booking. So. What happens here, you can see this guy, this becomes also the name of your group, yeah, this work area, what you created. So you can now say loop at group and you can put this work area name. That is the group name you have. Yeah. And then you can say into LS, uh, uh, let's say child record. Yeah? So in the group itself, you can do the loop. So now we are looping at the group itself. 
So in the outer loop pass, it is going to loop only the unique travel IDs and correspondingly whatever bookings we have in the child, those will be fetched. So now what we are going to do, we are going to get all the grouped data. So it's a loop inside loop, of course, but now here it loops only the first group. So this is also quite beneficial as we can also total the uh, corresponding booking amount for each group. So let me show you that. I will print now my data for my bookings under that travel. So I can just have now booking data, bookings under that. Yes, let's put bookings data and then we will get all the bookings. So I will just have a, a bit of space, a column space, I will add it and then we are just going to get the, uh, you know, the values. So we will put the booking ID. And we will get also, that is our child entity. And for the child entity, we also get the, let's say booking carrier ID. And then I can also get, let's say the booking fees. Yes, I save it. And now we're going to get all the data. Now within this group, I can also do calculate a total. So let me create a variable which can calculate the total and the total booking price. So type a packed integer with up to two decimal points. So we can calculate the total here and we can just put this flight price. And once this group is looped through, we'll print the total at the end. total value of the bookings after this group is looped. Okay, now let's activate. So what we will get, we will get a unique travel ID. Under that, all the bookings will be printed. And then for all those respective bookings, a total gets calculated, which will be printed at the end. And of course, it's a good practice to clear your variables so that the total will not get propagated to the next set. All right, let's execute and there you go. You got travel request one, which has got these three bookings. The total value for these bookings is 1314. Then the, the second one, it has got two bookings. This is the total value, three, four, five, and six, and their corresponding total values are being added. So this is the way you can create a group and you can loop. Now suppose you are writing this business logic inside a function module and your manager asks you to return this group data out in another internal table. You can also do that. So basically we can create an internal table on the fly, we can do that here, for example. Uh, yeah, we can do it here, data. And I can say LT, uh, let's say, GRP book, which is of my a table type value expression. And this is the table type I can use and just creating an empty internal table. And this should be marked as with the default key. Yes. Now that is the one. And what I can do now, I can actually get all the grouped data in my in my internal table. So I can say uh, value expression and I can put here uh, something called uh, an expression which will extract the group out in another internal table. That is what so we will say, please type cast it to the same data type. And I can say base, this, and I will put my data here, this one, done. So what it does, 
it extracts the entire data in just one line of that group in another internal table. Yes. And this internal table will then have the grouped data, all the grouped data actually. Yes. So this is a great feature which you can utilize to extract out the information. So let me just uh, debug and show you what it actually does now. I put our breakpoint and we can just execute and debug to understand what it is doing. So it comes to the breakpoint. You can see it starts looping the group. And now you see we have got this grouped data. I see F6. And if you check this LT booking, it has got one booking now. Then it will add the next one, you see. So base means basically uh, it is the internal table. It's like append ITAB to another ITAB, yes. Append lines of ITAB 1 to ITAB 2. So this is the uh, already has the record in the last loop pass. So that becomes my base on top of it. And one more record will get added. So this is the, uh, the something like append lines of ITAB 1 to uh, lines of ITAB 2. This is something which is not related to only group in general you can use in ABAP for appending the data from one internal table to another. Yes, that is what it is doing. So ultimately what it does, it prepares my entire grouped record. You can see it has got all the bookings related to uh, that particular travel request. Yes, so this is the way we can actually process our massive data and we can extract out our information quite easily. I think I should put my data statement outside the loop because every time it is clearing it off yeah so of course that has to be outside the the group the loop so that it can give me the correct data so let me just move this out here is the right place so that at the end of the loop pass first loop pass we should get all our uh, data so this is like append lines of i tab one to i tab two every time you are looping. So that's a, like a new syntax which you can use. So what we learned is grouping data by a key and the key name you have to specify over here. You can specify key combinations also by putting comma and let's say another field you can also add it. And then we can loop over a grouped data. So loop at all the child of that group yes and then we also can append data from one to second one and that is how it is so this is the example which i wanted to demonstrate of how to group by data using loop at itap if you like my work please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon kindly share this video in the whatsapp group of your team so your fellow team members can also take advantage of new ABAP syntax for before you start learning RESTful application programming model. With that, Anubhav signing out. Thank you for joining today's session. I'll see you in the next episode. Have a nice day. Goodbye.